Flux by Coldplay. This works great on acoustic guitar. We can play this with finger style or strumming. We can make it complex or break it down to basic open chords, like no bar chords in the whole thing. Super simple or make it more difficult. You choose. If you want more help with finger style playing, the link at the top of the description will take you to my primary finger style course where we cover all these basics and take you further than where you think you might be capable of at the moment. But let's have a look at what we're going to be looking at in this video now. underneath that are just D major, A minor, E minor, repeated for most of the song. We can even look at how to play that melody. The rest of the song is just a couple of other basic open chords as well. To do all of that, you'll need to be in standard tuning and put a capo at the first fret. If you don't have a capo, you could just move everything we're doing down here into the normal position. So, you know, being the key of D major, for example, but here we're in the key of capo key of D, actual key of E flat, which is a common piano key. And this first chord we play for the riff is just a D major chord, but it's an inversion. It's a really common inversion. It's just three notes out of a D major chord, but starting from the F sharp to the A to the D, shape-wise, you know, capo notes there. And with the finger picking, all we're doing is assigning a finger and your thumb to string two, to string three, and then the thumb to string four. So we're like this. And keep your thumb, really important technique point, keep your thumb ahead of your fingers like this, rather than them being in line like this. So make sure as you're looking at your fingers and thumb that your thumb's ahead to do this right. And kind of think like, like you're a bass player, like bass players always play bass like this, right? You just get a far better tone as opposed to starting to get, starting to sound like a DJ. And all we do is go from the highest string to the lowest, like that, so towards you really. Strings wise, that is two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. Just repeat that same pattern, but on the next chord, which is A minor. And we do it twice here, so. And then on what is basically E minor, but we only need one finger down. And then we repeat. Really slow so you can see it clearly. You can even practice this without doing the chords if you just want to work on the finger style or the fingers bit. Just muting my strings there, just touching the strings lightly. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. That's especially useful for getting it up to speed to the record. And if you notice, I'm playing that while I'm also talking and the rhythm's still there. So I can do it under distraction and I could sing over this, for example. Lights go out and I can't be saved. Tides that I tried to swim against. How do you get to that point? Just think about it rhythmically. Slow it down, keep everything even. For example, brought me down upon my knees. Oh, I beg, beg and please. This bit's got to be automatic and I know how the lyrics go. I know how 
where the lyrics fall on a certain beat because I know the song well and we can do that. You can also do all of this with a pick if you choose to. It's of course exactly the same. I try picking that with up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, which will make this directional picking so a little bit better technique wise, a little bit more optimum. Of course, you can use whatever picking you prefer. All of that is played over these basic open chords. As I said before, this is over a D major chord, A minor, A minor again, and E minor, and it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, same as the picking was. And do every one louder. We can even play the melody there. Melody's the D notes. It's just using. Oh, I don't even know. I'd say that's D mixolydian personally. With a flat and seven, so major scale with a flat and seventh. But the only other section of this song is the That is an F major 7 Which you could play super easy F like a C But I really like to teach this hybrid of a uh, Like an F bar chord So fingers 2, 3 and 4 where they would be on a bar chord just with the um, first finger not barring basically, thumb even holding down or muting string six, doesn't matter which, whichever's comfortable to you, to C major, and then I'd play a G sus, basically G sus, with uh, the first finger on the C note basically. So now let's have a basic strum through the whole song. If you want to add those picking bits to it, that's great. I'm just going to play basic open chords so that everyone can play along to me. And if you can play the riff, play the riff over what I'm playing. So we're going to go for open chords first of all. you find a link to this chord sheet that I'm following right below in the description, starting from the D major chord or the riff you choose. In one, two, three, four. Lights go out and I can't be saved Tides that I tried to swim against have brought me down upon my knees Oh, I beg and beg and plead Singing, come out of the things unsaid Shoot an apple off my head And I'm troubled i 
closing walls and ticking clocks gonna come back and take you home could not stop what you now know saying come out upon my seas curse me stop the Judas am I a part of the cure or am I part of the disease singing go clocks by Coldplay let me know any song requests in the comments below I'll leave a couple of links on the screen now including to my fingerstyle course available exclusively at handyguitar.co.uk not available on YouTube check it out if you want more help with this fingerstyle technique